The, uh, the last agenda item for tonight is agenda item number 5, HA 2013 02. Staff, if you could please present this case. And so, this is the, I guess, the detail um, that we're anxious to get to. Um, this is a much thicker agenda packet. There are several variances being requested, um, some from the standard provisions of the zoning ordinance, um, but most of them from provisions of what are called the Gateway Court or Overlay District. Um, this is from the discussion of the work session. This is um, the Georgia 122 <coughs> corridor from the railroad track westward all the way to the Hayhower city limits uh, beyond the interstate. It's a fairly large area. Um, has a fairly diverse development pattern. Um, this is the portion of the overlay district that is in close proximity to downtown. Um, in your packet, um, again, there was the packet handed out, or excuse me, emailed out late last week. Um, discussion of the work session handed out to you tonight. It's mostly the same packet. Um, it has a different change to cover pages. Um, IE staff has received a revised site plan, which um, portion of which has been handed out to you tonight by the applicant. Um, some other copies of that are in the packet that was handed out to you tonight by myself. And staff has changed our recommendation on some of the variances. Um, let's go through these one by one. Um, start with page one in the green and yellow section. First variance is to that of number of parking spaces for a retail store um, by the size of the building, um, and more specifically the size of the retail space within the building. They're required to have a minimum of 47 parking spaces. They are proposing 39, um, just like you see on the site plan. As we talked about um, at the work session, this is identical to the existing Dollar General store, which is across the street to the west. It is a smaller building. Um, this building is 50% larger, but the old site has 39 parking spaces. Um, it has been staff's observation that the 39 for that store seems to function perfectly fine, um, but there's been some discussion that perhaps that existing site fills up with parking on occasion. Um, however, as you see in our recommendation, um, it is based on the presumption that if 39 is working for the existing Dollar General across the street, and maybe it's okay for this store as well. So we've recommended approval of that variance, um, subject to the variance being placed with the name of Dollar General store only, which means any future retailer wanting to use this site needs to plead their own case. That's, any questions on that? All right, second variance is building setbacks from all corner lots. This development is almost a whole city block. Um, it's sort of like building in a fishbowl. You have setbacks from streets coming at you from three or four sides. And they are seeking relief on one of the sides. And it's, as you see in the site plan, it sort of scooted the building over to the east to allow more room for site development on the west and north. Um, they're sort of mimicking the larger tobacco warehouse to the east across Marshall Street, which is right up to the street right of way. The existing warehouse that's on this building, I think, is a three-foot setback, and they're proposing to increase that to seven feet um, to make some room for some landscaping, plus back off of the road a little bit. Um, however, the code requires 12 feet, so the variance is to go from 12 to 7. Um, given the nature of the block, Realizing that shifting the building further to west um, negatively squeezes the parking lot, we are recommending approval of this variance. Thank you. All right, the third one in there after. Hey, 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 yes, sir. I, I just said seven foot, but on, on this, so middle it says five foot landscape buffer. Is that different from the seven? The applicant might be able to address that if there's been yet another change. I've been in the present seven. Five foot landscape buffer. Right. The building is seven foot off. There you go. I just see it. Oh, I see it now. It's very skewed. Two feet makes an arrow distance. All right. The remaining variances have to do with the streetscape standards and other provisions of the overlay district. Most of these pertain to the building itself. The first one is. Um, Discussion about the design of the front yard, which is the distance of, uh, area between the building and the street driveway on the north. Um, no more than 50% of that area can be used for parking and driveways and so forth. They were originally proposing as high as 68%. However, with the modification of the revised site plan, they're back down to 55, 
which is much, much closer to 50. Um, when you look at the site plan itself, the only way to really increase more percentage, um, the easiest way is to eliminate one more parking space. And given the parking variance above here, um, we don't really want them to take off any more parking than necessary when they're very close to 50%. Um, the other possibility is to add more landscaping area. And so staff on this one is recommending approval um, based on the revised site plan, but with the condition that some landscaping be added along the building's north wall east of the proposed entrance. They are showing what looks like a nine or ten foot wide sidewalk between the parking and the building, um, which seems to staff that there's room for some landscaping there, which I think would help with that facade design. And it might bump the percentage down just a little bit, probably not to 50, but at least a little bit closer. So we're recommending approval of that variance for that condition. Questions so far? All right, the next so one. The, so that's, that's between the parking lot and the building, is that, that sidewalk there? Which uh, yeah, so you see the row of parking along the north wall of the building that sort of faced the building? The north wall is the front Top of the building. The front it? of the building. Okay. There is a concrete walkway there that is between the parking lot and the building wall. Okay. All paved, no open space, no open space. Okay. Nine or ten feet wide seems a little excessive for that. I'm not in terms of distance from building, but additional pavement. And landscaping often helps soften the edges of a building. That's sort of what they're proposing along the east side of the building. All right, next one. This goes to page number two. This is the overall provision about corporate architecture. Um, it's one of the main uh, provisions and tenets of the overlay district um, is to enhance and generate a unique quality for the city of Hekara and not have corporate architecture in a very small urban community. Um, this is based primarily on the original um, 3D color rendering um, that was in your packet that was emailed um, that looks very much like Dollar General that you see most anywhere. Um, and a lot not like downtown Pehira. Um, there have been, since then, some changes to elevation drawings in terms of colors and materials and even shape. Uh, we do not have a 3D drawing revised version yet. Um, so pending the outcome of that, um, staff is rather reluctant to recommend approval of it. But we think at least these changes help and go a long way. Um, so we're recommending approval, but we still think there's some room for further improvement. Any questions on this one? Hopefully the applicants might be able to describe some of these changes to you. All right, next one, building modulations. This is to keep a very long, flat wall from taking over a large building. This applies to the east and the west walls only because the only one's over 100 feet. Um, they have added some more offsets some more features to help break up the wall. Um, so we're recommending approval, but we're still a little unsure exactly how the west wall is going to look in the revisions. We see some features in the elevation drawings, um, but it's hard to tell just how 3D they are. The next one has to do with blank wall effects. This is walls that are over 50 feet. And this is the north wall is taken care of. The south wall is really the back of the building, the service wall, um, it, the unfortunate part is it is visible because there's currently no development behind it and none currently proposed, but maybe someday. Um, but since it is the back wall and it's a before side of the building and they're sort of developing in the fishbowl, we're recommending approval of some relief there. The next one has to do with front wall windows. They were originally requesting a variance to the 30% requirement for windows along walls that face Georgia 122. The revised drawings um, actually comply with that code requirement now, so that variance is no longer needed. And then lastly, this is the loading and service areas um, to be screened from view. Um, you look on the site plan toward the south end of the parking area, you see a dumpster area that is enclosed, but just above that, like we talked at the work session, you see out sort of floating. Um, to the north of that is a scissors lip with a parked area inside bollards that is unscreened. And so if they will screen that or relocate that to an area where they can screen it more appropriately, then that will take care of that variance. And that's what staff is recommending. Any questions on the variances? 
Each one is just a little bit different, and I'm sure the applicants have got some more details on these in here. All right, thank you. Are there any questions for the staff from the commissioner? Yes. Would a note of interest maybe for the future? We'd like to have this a bit earlier, being how part of our function is to talk to the community and council members and it, you know, they load you up with stuff and then now I've got something different than what I came here with. It, uh, it's, it, 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 it's tricky, but I appreciate the changes and we did talk about that and I, I think that will go a long way, but I would like to have been a bit more prepared. I'm going to have some explaining to do when I get back home. <laughs> and I'm sure you will too. <laughs> The picture has changed a little bit, but only the picture. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Jeff, fine. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this request?